Okay, it's uh, Cooper Car 2019. I'm on the Powerjet stand with Tom, and we're going to go through some of the new features on the Maverick. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to take us through them. Yeah, absolutely. So as we've been talking about, uh, we've been so pleased with the Maverick sales. We've been literally going through the roof. Yeah. Um, loads of really good feedback from the customers. But as usual, we're always listening, always thinking about how we can tweak them and make them better service the customers better, make the machines more the way they want them. So the first one of those uh, is the new XL tank for the Maverick, which is yeah. this beast over here. So I don't know if you can come around, Laurie. Yeah. So the, the original Maverick fuel tank just to my left here yeah. is the original 10 litre tank. Yeah. Okay, so when we brought out the Maverick, yeah. um, a lot of people commented on the size of the tank. And actually in reality, for all the thousands that we've sold now, um, I think the actual the 10 litre is still plenty for most for the average pilot but of course uh, as people and the sport grows more people want to fly more people want to go on adventures more people want to do those long distance XC flights um, so we spent quite a lot of time trying to really come up with a nice looking fuel tank as you know all of our fuel tanks for all the machines are, are unique uh, the previous Maverick one had loads of really nice comments and sort of very Lamborghini Aventador so, nice straight edges yeah and, straight yeah. edges all that cool kind of stuff obviously it's got to be that way for Parajet yeah. um, so when we came up with the uh, XL tank again it was really quite important to a make it look like it was supposed to be there but obviously pay homage to the original design and try and get it so but how much is that for a customer to buy no. uh, to buy now that's about 138 pounds as yeah. the complete kit comes with all the all the bits ready to plumb it in so it's yeah. literally just plug and play you can take the other one out you can do it in, i think about 10 15 minutes Pretty really good. really easy yeah and there are some guys out there who've actually still got both so they use the 10 liter when they need it and if they want to go on a long stuff uh, they can do and there's actually uh, other things out there kind of people have been putting fuel bags but obviously we love the idea of it all being nice and tidy uh, and there you go so, oh. so that's the XL that's the XL tank right there and then over here we've got the uh, monster with the electric start yeah so another thing uh, so you know the whole idea the whole concept of the Maverick is it's supposed to be super super light simple but the heart wants what the heart wants and there's a there is a, a number of people around the world who just love that magic button do you better press it and just to, just to start it on the electric so again really kind of it sounds simple just to hey yeah you just bolt an electric start engine into a frame but when the whole concept of a frame is is light minimal simplistic finding it, the space quite yeah hard. it poses yeah. some real challenges of how you can do that beautifully mindful to the to the original design and trying to make it in keeping yeah. um, but also to avoid having sort of things hanging off of it because of course the maverick is totally it's minimal yeah, yeah it's really really clean so you know knock some heads together uh, and we came up with this fantastic idea so if you turn if i turn the machine around now and we'll have a little look in here so what do you think i'm going to find behind here uh. so one of the big challenges for the electric start is um is where you're going to put the battery yeah, yeah. on a minimal frame like this there's yeah, very yeah. few places you see some designs have sort of got it bolted on, on yeah. and, and and there's some good solutions out there but it, it, it doesn't for us sort of fit that clean you know that clean yeah. fit and finish that we always look for yeah exactly yeah. so have a little look behind here if you can see it so if you just let's after, see if we can to. we can have a little look behind here is yeah. here you'll yeah, yeah. see a little panel so what we've done is we've created a a, a a module within the mold of the fuel tank yeah. that actually sits the battery in there and then you have this lovely little plate that fits yeah, over so the, the battery is completely contained behind you it's sealed within the fuel tank it's completely safe by the way done a lot of testing on that um, but it's completely minimal it's completely out of the way and you said it's a lithium battery when we it's spoke yesterday it's a lithium ion battery exactly yeah. right but again the weight is centered behind the pilot there's no chance of it falling off there's no chance of it. it's very accessible if you want to take it out but you don't need to and then the wiring comes up here yeah. to this beautifully little 3d printed switch box here yeah. okay with the on off switch here and also a secondary charging port so one of the big things about electric start motors is that they do inherently sort of charge themselves over long periods of flight but of course over depending how many users starts that yeah, you have you yeah, can yeah. you can deplete if the it's battery left in the garage for a while or having to take the battery off and, and remove it and stuff can be awfully inconvenient so we've come up with this wonderful little system here you can literally plug it straight into the wall uh, and off you go Easy yeah it's really like and again this whole the, the complete electric start with the the engine with the starter motor the battery pack here and the little switch box is about 2.2 kilos extra so it, we try to minimize it as much as possible ultimately if you want as light as you can get you go for the pull start because and indeed actually to be perfectly honest with you the highest volume of cells are still for the pull start but for those guys out there and there's quite a few there's quite a number of them now 
um, the feedback on I think the, importantly as well, it still has the pull start. Absolutely right, yeah. So, so you've got, you if see, you get to the field and have forgotten to charge yeah. the battery, you can still start that. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all the time. But yeah, I think that's the beauty of the dual start engines, yeah. that you've got both. But as I said, it is really the tale of two stories. You, you, can, do, you can choose whichever one you like. Yeah. Uh, I actually think the simplicity of the pool starts these days, the positioning of the, so the pool start is so, I mean, you've flown one, right? It's yeah. so easy to do. But for those of us who just, just can't help it, you know, do, do, and the heart wants what the heart wants, and that's what we love about it. You know, we always want to make sure that we can deliver the machines as best as we possibly can, but obviously yeah. to tweak them and make them just the way the customers want them. Yeah. Uh, so we think we've done a great job with this, and obviously we hope the customers do yeah, too. Perfect. Brilliant. Right. Cool. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers. Take it easy.